Hi and welcome, my name is Valdis from Dicadata and today we will be having a look what is in the box when you purchase a Dell PowerVolt ME5. The ME5 is Dell's latest entry-level storage solution specifically aimed at the small to medium business. Let's have a look at what you get when you open the box. We get four 25 gig, three meter direct attach cables, full length rack rails. We have the lovely Dell EMC bezel that you can put on the front, two IEC cables to connect to your power, one USB cable for configuration, no doubt. And then the standard Dell paperwork that comes with everything. The main player in this one, Power Store ME5. Right, now that we've got everything out on the table, the model that we are looking at today is the ME5024. There are also two other models available. There's the ME5012 and the ME5084. The difference between these three models is the 24 relates to a 24 bay 2.5 inch chassis. The ME5012 is a 3.5 inch by 12 drive bay. And the ME5084 is a much larger unit that can have 84 drives in it. So let's have a quick look at this ME5024. The model we've got in front of us is half populated with 12 drives. We've got 12 by 2.4 terabyte SAS in it. So it's just the 10K spinning disk model. So the biggest upgrade from the ME4 uh, series of SANS to the ME5 series is the SSD capabilities that we can put in the 2.5 inch chassis. We can now go all the way up to 7.68 terabyte up from 3.84 in the older models, which also therefore increases the overall capacity that you can put into the ME5 SAN. Turning the unit around. The other big upgrade for the ME5 over the ME4 are the connectivity options. So for iSCSI, we can now do 10 gig base T iSCSI, 10 gig SFP iSCSI, and 25 gig SFP iSCSI. For fiber channel, you've got either 16 gig or 32 gig, and we still have the 12 gig SAS option as we did in the ME4. Connectivity options for the ME5 are either direct attach, which can be done via the SAS, the iSCSI, or the fiber channel, or you can put it through your fabric and run it through fiber channel or iSCSI that way as well. The ME5 that we have here has been configured for 25 gig iSCSI SFP, hence why we've got the SFP cables in the box. You have dual four port controllers for your 25 gig iSCSI, as well as network management port and the SAS expansion port for external controllers. The ME5, as the ME4 did, you can add extra shelves to increase the capacity of the unit. In the active-active controllers on the ME5, we have on each controller four 25 gig iSCSI ports. We've got the network management port for your management network, and we've also got the 12 gig SAS port for external shelves to increase the capacity of the SAN. The ME5 has active-active controllers, which are very easy to remove in case one unit goes down. Small and compact, easy to replace if you ever in the situation where one does break. Do not try this at home. We have two screws holding on the top panel. Inside we have the controller board, a couple of heat sinks. There is <coughs> 125 gig iSCSI controller for an ME5. And that is about as open as you can get this. There's four very large capacitors in there. In summary, the ME5 is absolutely amazing in its evolution over the ME4. We've got the increase in the size of the SSDs that you can offer now with the 7.68, which means we can put an absolute heap of space in a 2U chassis, as well as the increases in getting it to 25 gig iSCSI and the 32 gig FC, which keeps your business relevant in the ever-growing market or ever-changing market and speeds that are required for performance. If you'd like to get more information about the product, please reach out to the Dicadata team and we would be more than happy to discuss the ME5 and any other storage solutions that you would require. 
We also have other videos on Dikadata's YouTube channel where we have a look at the PowerStore 500T and also Dell's current range of 15 generation servers. So please head over there if you want to have a look.